Welcome to the QB Sales Data QuickBooks Link for Act video library series. This video will discuss the customer link wizard when you're selling to individuals, meaning your Act records don't have a company name. You can see from the screen here we have Bill Smith as an example record. He just has a contact name and no company name. If we go to QuickBooks, we'll see the Bill Smith record as well. If I double click on his customer record, I'll see that his customer name is Bill Smith and he also has a contact name of Bill Smith as well. So I actually have two sets of data that I could match on. I could either match on the customer name in QuickBooks or the contact name. If I return back to ACT, I can go into the customer link wizard by going to Tools, QB Customer Link Wizard. From here I will go to the Contact Linking tab and I will change my matching criteria. I will actually match the QB, uh, in this case let's do the QB customer name to the ACT contact name and I'm going to run this against the current lookup. When you have real big databases, um, let's say a 20,000 uh, user or contact database in ACT, um, but maybe only 3,000 of those are actual customers, we recommend looking up those customers in ACT because you don't need to link the prospects and the leads. And then using that current lookup to do the link wizard. We don't recommend running the link wizard for more than 5,000 at a time. So we've got the criteria set. We're going to match the QB customer name to the ACT contact name. If I click on load data, it's actually going to pull up the matches. So you can see here it found Bill Smith as a match to Bill Smith here. And it's set to link, meaning it found a match. At this point, I can click on the process button in the lower right. and it will say processing complete. From here I can click on close. I'm back to the ACK record and notice that it has a QB ID number in the lower right. That's what we're looking for. That tells us that the record is linked. Customer names last name first. Now in some cases you may have been entering in your QuickBooks customers last name comma first. For example, John Crane. If we look at John Crane's record, his customer name is Crane comma John, and in this case, our QuickBooks database is not very well populated, so all we really have to match on is this customer name. So we've got good news for you. If I go back to ACT, notice John Crane here is John space Crane, not Crane comma John, but in our Link Wizard, let's go into there, Tools, QB Customer Link Wizard. If we go to the Contact Linking section and we match on the customer name in QuickBooks, which was Crane comma John, to ACT, which is John space Crane, we've added some logic to our Link Wizard to remove the comma and reverse the field so that if you are using last name comma first and that's all you have to match on it will actually match so let's test it out I've got it running against the current lookup we're gonna match crane comma John to John space crane I click on load data and you'll notice that it actually comes up John crane it has action of link now because we had to reverse the names these two fields are blank but by seeing that the action is link you'll know that that was actually found as a match. So then at this point, I can click on process. It will actually process those then, so it found a match on the last name comma first. I click on close. And when I come back to act, you'll notice that there is a QB ID number. So we've made it very flexible for you to match on information either matching directly on the contact name or if you have the last name comma first you're still able to match and that should cover you as far as matching when you're selling to individuals. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.